Um, so without any more further waiting, let's write our first program. So um, this is the um, the page that we were talking about uh, previously, the main.m. So what you want to do now is inside this um, nslog um, line, what you have to do is just, uh, I want you to modify it, but make sure that uh, you have the double quote still in place and uh, you type hello everyone this is my first program so this is your first program and then as you can see this nslog is used to output message onto the screen so when you type nslog and then inside the bracket you have the add sign don't ever forget it and you have a double quote and whatever message you want to output onto the screen you will type it within the double quote and the most important thing as well another important thing is this uh, semicolon at the back of every so every time you type a line you have to end that line with the semicolon except in some cases which you're going to talk about as you can see there's a lot of uh, color uh, colors going on we have the the blue color the pink color the red color uh, you get used to the color because um, depending on if it's a data um, if it's a variable or if it's um, a, a a keyword, um, a Xcode keywords or a, you know a method or so depending on what it is, you get different colorings. For example, all the green colors, the comments. So for you, for example, there is a comment here that say insert your code here. So comments are basically a way for you to remember what you're actually trying to do. For example, if you're writing a program that converts um, a temperature from Celsius to uh, Fahrenheit so what you can do is actually write a little bit of comment to remind yourself the reason why you're writing that code so that in the future when you're looking at your code you can understand so there are two ways to write to write comments the first way to write comment is to put a double forward slash and say this is a comment when you do that um, the uh, the compiler will not include the comments in the uh, in the final output of the program so it's going to ignore all the comments so the comments is just for the program and to actually understand what it's doing but for yourself uh, I mean for the program it doesn't do nothing just for the programmer um, uh, if uh, another way to write a comment on a multiple line for example if you have a long uh, comment for example this particular one at the top it's actually not necessary for them to um, do the double forward slash in front of each one because there's a way to actually capture multiple line uh, so let's do that now so if you put one forward slash and an asterisk then you can say these lines are all comments then you hand with uh, one asterisk and and a forward slash. As you can see, it has turned all the comments on multiple lines into comments. All the comments, it's turned them green, so which means it's going to ignore it. So rather than doing this, which way you put a double forward slash in, in on each line, if you have a multiple line of comments, you can just use this forward slash and asterisk, then asterisk and forward slash. So anyway, let's run our first program. Uh, I think I'm getting carried away with talking too much. So if you click on uh, run as you can see now the output is at the bottom here which says hello everyone this is my first program so if you do not get uh, the output message at the bottom here what you can do is at the top uh, on your menu uh, click on view then click on debug area then click on activate console and that's going to bring this um, console out so uh, it's going to bring it out so you can uh, see it clearly and if you want to also enlarge it like I have done here you can you have some um, toggle here that you can use to toggle it away halfway or the full place so you can use that one as well so this is the way you write your codes and this is the way you comment out um, different lines uh, so this is I'm making sure that you're starting very slowly but uh, we're going to get into the heavy heavy coding in you know upcoming videos so don't rush yourself too much just uh, um, try everything out as I'm doing it and I'll see you in the next video thank you